Yeah, we're having a great time. In fact, we've had a photo session with Aiden, and uh, now he's walking through. Can you show that? Aiden, there you go. He's going off. Aiden, flip around and do that one more time. Um, he's been in the wheelchair for six months. Um, he has learned how to do this, but for those starting, those speed bumps could be insurmountable. It was for me. And then with some coaching, I finally got it. All right, let's talk about the forecast and tell you what's happening is, uh, ooh, 16% great. Nice job, Aiden. All right, let's get to the weather. Everyone is like a 10-year-old around here. We've all gotten to Aiden's age very quickly. Um, we're going to see a high today of 58 degrees. We had a wind advisory from noon to 8 p.m. Uh, those winds in excess of 40 miles an hour potentially certainly into the West Plains down into the Palouse. Um, overnight lows down to 38 degrees. Things are looking pretty nice. So the Almanac yesterday mid 50s with rain. We had quite a bit of rain here. We had rain move through last night which was more sprinkles but still we have a bit of a mud pit we're dealing with this morning. Uh, the radar yeah it's we have that green fired up all over the place. More numerous to the north than to the south of I-90. We'll see that shift later on this afternoon. The national map, Texas. Much needed rain over the last 72 hours. They will dry out today. Trust me, they have a drought. They're getting the rain, but they want some sunshine as well. It's Texas. They want some sunshine. The seven-day forecast for us. Sunshine, Friday, not today. Rain, winds, and uh, 58 today. 50 tomorrow, cold front. We cool down on the back side of it. Low 50 Saturday and Sunday. Sunday looks to be cloudy with uh, scattered showers. And then low 40s as we get into Tuesday, Veterans Day into Wednesday. All right, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the reveal day for the extreme team. We started last week because of all of the um, concrete that had to be poured and, and central premix and fountain construction and Dundee uh, concrete along with the uh, Lance Pounder and everybody else. We'll try to get them all throughout uh, the morning. But uh, we're now on reveal day, so we have planting and we have a mud pit to deal with over there. Danielle joining us now. Uh, the Kemp family and again, Aiden, who's been rolling around on this, trying out everything. And again, he has surpassed some of it. Some of it is still, he can't get up those stairs, that ramp. So we'll see what happens. What's it like? This has been sudden for you guys. I mean, it's only been six months. He wakes up one morning. He says he can't walk. Yep, it was uh, shocking. At first, we didn't believe him because he, who wakes up in the middle of the night and can't move their legs? Um, but two months of hospital stays has been exhausting, but he's doing amazing. So we're grateful for that. So St. Luke's Rehab, a, a large part of that, and everyone I've talked to talks about how wonderful the staff is. They, they you know, they, they love them. But what do you think this will do for those who are in Aiden's situation? And we don't want that to happen, but it will happen. It's amazing to actually have all of the things here in one location versus having to haul them out and go to, um, oh, this bumpy street over here and this, this stop sign or speed bump over here. This way he's able to access everything at one shot. Right. And that's an amazing resource just for the amount of time that it takes 15 minutes out here you can cover you know, a lot of 20 it. different trains. It's amazing. <laughs> Instead of a half an hour to get to your location. Exactly. One of the cool things about this is that we have perfectionists that help on the extreme team, and I'm asking them to make it all bumpy and crazy, and they're having to really work at that because that's not what they normally do. We thank them for their efforts. We'll send it back to you guys, but we're having a great day, and we've got more coming in later on.